Hi guys, welcome back to my Cover Beauty channel. My name is Emma and today we are doing this Viking accent that I love. So if you want to stay tuned to get this look, keep on watching. Guys, so the first thing I did was get my axe from Poundland. It's very lightweight, so this was perfect for this look. And I've just made some uh, latex paste and I've got some cotton wool cotton wool buds should I say and pop it on the face cast where you want the axe to lay and then what I'm going to do is place that axe on top of it and then start spreading the latex paste all around it and above it and I do change the angle so you can see better there you go so yeah once you have got it in place I have got the end of the axe resting on my wine rack so it just worked out perfectly like that just while it dries and then it'll be perfectly set so I'm just smoothing everything out with some latex uh, liquid on my finger because you want it to be smooth like your skin to, so it's going to blend in seamlessly and then around where the axe is we're going to just grab a little tool and start making little indentations like where they've shoved the axe in our face it's just all ripped up all the skin and it's just horrible and fleshy and meaty right so you want to let leave that to set overnight and then we're going to powder all that and take it off the face cast um, just be careful not to uh, rip it all so just take it off and powder as you go so here you go the axe is staying in place lovely and that's because we brought it up onto the axe and spread it over the face and that's what it looks like so we're going to pop it back onto the cast and pre-paint it because when it's covered our eye it's going to be really hard to paint so we're going to pre-paint this so i'm just putting some foundation on for the base color which i'm using the uh, w7's feather light foundation in natural beige and then i'm just going to powder that now I'm going to go in with my flash palette, the uh, red, and just go in all the little nooks and crannies because we want to deepen up those areas. Then I'm going to grab a wire sponge or plastic wire sponge and go in with the red again just to make that look infected and sore and irritated. Then I'm just going to grab a little bit of brown and pop it at the base of the wound just to make it look more deep set into the face. So next I'm going to just go into those uh, nooks and crannies again with brown and then black and then the red again just to make it look like dark red and really deep gashes into the face. Right now that is pre-painted we are going to up start applying this prosthetic to our face. So I'm just going to map out where I want it and then snip off the excess, there you go. And then what I'm going to do is just hold it where I'm going to place it and then powder around the edges so I know exactly where the prosthetic is going to lie on my face so I can pop some latex on there. The first thing I did was cover my eyebrow because I don't want any latex pulling my eyebrow out, uh, eyebrow hair should I say. And then I'm going to pop latex all around the areas where the prosthetic is going to lay. And then I'm going to pop a cotton wool pad over my eye to protect it. And then we're going to just line the prosthetic with latex and then pop that onto your face. So just make sure it's in the right position that all the flappy bits are stuck down. Hold it onto your face until it dries. And then I'm just going to go around the edges with some latex. I'm only going to go around like once with latex because it's probably going to be covered in blood anyway the edges and the edges are not too bad and quite thin so we can get away with it. Once the prosthetic is dried on your face you can start powdering that latex that you pop around uh, the edges and we're going to add our foundation so it blends in so again same foundation the Featherlight W7 in natural beige all around the edges of your face and don't have anything in front of you because every time I was turning around I was knocking things off my table so yeah onto the other side we're gonna grab the NYX Avant Pop palette matte black 
and do a very simple smoky eye like very rough and drag it down the side of your face and then we're going to fill our eyebrows in with the NYX Brow Wiz in black just roughly and then I'm grabbing the NYX Liquid Eyeliner Vivid Brights in blue just for two like tribal patterns on my chin just something simple because it's mainly about the prosthetic today and I'm going to add some mascara and some black coal pencil eyeliner just to the waterline now I'm going to grab my flash palette with the red and that uh, wired sponge, the plastic one and then we're just going to uh, blend that prosthetic into our skin with the irritated redness and then we're going to go with the uh, Ben Nye scab blood all around the middle part of the wound so it's all chunky flesh and gruesome and then I'm going to get the Meron's uh, dark stage blood and splash that all around So then I'm going to grab my flash palette and pop a little bit of the coral and brown to the lips just to give it a little bit of colour so they're not just pale lips and you are done. Right guys so that is the final look I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial and can take something away from it. A uh, quick rundown of the outfit, this is actually a faux fur rug that I've got in my bedroom, I've just wrapped it around my shoulders. Necklace and jewellery from eBay and Primark, um, just put some braids in my hair with some uh, these little ring things uh, from Claire's Accessories. The axe is from Poundland, so yeah. Any comments, questions, do let me know, but do subscribe for more 31 days of Halloween. Uh, still got a few freaky looks to come, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time. Take care and bye.